Riverport. I haven't been down here for a while since I left for Japan. I haven't been in Richmond actually. But anyway, this is the before and after for hidden figures. But anyway, so yeah. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So, what do you expect? I mean, people say it's good. I mean, the, the, the trailer looked interesting. I mean, Henson I haven't seen. Monet I've seen in Moonlight. Octavia Spencer is Octavia Spencer. And then we have Jim Parsons. I think that caught my eye when I watched the first trailer. And then it's also directed by the guy that did St. Vincent's. I enjoyed that movie with Bill Murray and Naomi Watts, so I'm gonna expect that type of stuff. I'm told it's very math I I mean, I'm not very great at math, but who knows. But anyway, I enjoy seeing just new perspectives that should have been shown decades ago. So, I mean, this is a groundbreaking sort of storyline. Autobiography, drama, autobiographical drama, I mean. So that's gonna be interesting. So yeah, and that's it. I mean, I enjoy it, looking forward to it. This moment of waiting to watch it is it's it's awesome. I mean it's raining and all, but hidden figures is gonna be hopefully good. Enjoyable. Anyway, so that is the before. And this is after. And there you go, that was hidden figures. Holy crap, this movie was so balanced and just holy so much stuff to talk about. The race stuff, the woman rights, NASA, space. Just that was fifty years ago. It's just crazy. I seriously swear it should be like required watching for all high schools like just learning about the segregation is just seeing the photos it doesn't hit you it's just like how messed up and how crazy it was back then and definitely Theodore director did a great job I mean jumping from St. Vincent to this is just pretty pretty impressive and everyone did a great casting and it was it was it was great. It was an enjoyable film. Everyone did their job. I, f I forgot about uh, we have what <laughs> Moonlight main lead. I forgot his name, but I forgot he was in it. It was great. It was just like a balance between like the drama and like the actual tech stuff, the actual math stuff. Everything was balanced and like it, it, I mean it definitely helps if you didn't know what actually happens per flight. Because you would still like, oh no, it's like a crash now, or is it later, or whatever. And definitely is a historical sort of like genre that definitely needs to be watched. Add it to your list for the stuff that you need to watch. I mean, I, I said Silence is one of the movies that you need to watch this year. Hidden Figures is also one of them. And it was just great. Like, definitely a lot of stuff to talk about. And, and just, it covered so much. That was the most impressive part. And then the imagery that was used, the repetition, and then just the symbolism and everything. And just all that. There was a lot of great lines. Like, there was a lot of one-liners. I'm trying to figure out what I should have for the fake movie title that I would make it. And I was, there was, like, tons of stuff that I could have said. And, and it was just great. And what's his face? Ah, oh, I'm losing, losing names at the moment. But... But was this, the dude that led the program? He also did a good job, though. Jim Parsons definitely just played Big Bang Theory once again, so n nothing new there. But but it was good. It just did. It needed. It just did what it needed to do, and good job all around. So definitely a watch. So that it. So that's it for this before and after for Hidden Figures.